A pregnant couple moved in their new home just about a week ago, only to have mm. floodwaters force them out this week. CBS 17's Curtis McLeod is live tonight in Chapel Hill. And Curtis, we did stories before this storm, and everyone at this complex was told to leave. Yeah, they were, and uh, this couple actually got, an, uh, got a warning a few hours beforehand, but they did decide to stay, and once those waters started rushing, they then decided to get out and get to safety. They're just one of many people in this area that were forced out of their home due to flooding, and now they're forced to pick up the pieces. With the high water gone, Tyler and Emily Manning are now sifting through what's left of their now flooded home. The couple forced from their condo at Camelot Village in Chapel Hill rushed out just in time by their landlord. And he says, all right, we need to go. And of course, we're freaking out because we had only lived here for about a week. And we look outside and there's waist high water. We've been checking every hour and then all of a sudden within 20, 30 minutes, it was full water. As water levels began to rise, water rushed up here onto the front porch, through this door and into this couple's home. As soon as we opened the doors, I mean, it was almost like it was biblical flooding. Tyler says he and his pregnant wife were able to wade out to the back parking lot and get to their landlord's car. Meanwhile, Jennifer Watson, who also lives in Camelot Village, chose not to evacuate, showing us these photos of the water creeping up to her front steps. So the levels come up really quick within 15 or 20 minutes. It goes from you being able to see the parking lot to the weather, the water being right up at your, at your stoop. While the Mannings are seemingly at a loss, they are thankful they have each other and survived this flood, something they won't soon forget. And back here live, of course, we mentioned there several people have made their way back to this area here, but there's still a ton of people who have yet to return home here to this area. Still, they have yet to face the devastation that awaits them here at Camelot Village. We are live in Chapel Hill this evening. Curtis McLeod is CBS 17 News. All right.